everybody, it's Alice K. Ruckelhaus from Threshold of Hineni, and I'm here for kind of a different video. I want to show you the things that I'm working on right now. I have 20 journals <laughs> that are in various stages of completion. I have this horrible tendency to start working on something and then I come up with another idea and I'm so excited about it and I don't want to forget it. So I start working on it and I lose enthusiasm for the <laughs> previous project that I haven't finished yet. So my goal right now for the next few weeks is to finish up those journals. And I literally have, I believe it's 20 journals that I'm working on. So I'm gonna show you those just really quickly. I'm not gonna do flip throughs. I'm just gonna kind of give you a general idea. And the reason I'm showing you those is because I'm gonna be opening up a new shop in October called The Widow Reckle House. And um, it's going to be journals and journal supplies. And the journal supplies can be things that you use for making journals or things that if you buy a journal from me or somebody else, um, they're extras that you can use to put in those journals. So um, anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you generally like what a journal is like and when I open up my shop, I'm going to start it out with really low prices. And as each journal is bought, I'm going to raise the prices in small increments until I get to a more normal price. And the reason for that is because I want to have a lot of sales at first so that I'm up higher in the um, search engine on Etsy um, in the results. And I'm hoping that people will also you know, put in reviews on the journals if they like them um, and the supplies if they like them. Uh, but that's absolutely not a requirement for getting the low price. Anyway, um, I also, the other reason why I wanted to show you these journals now while I'm still working on them is because if you are interested in one, you can let me know and offer me a price that you want. And keep in mind that I'm going to be asking for low prices. If you want to offer me a higher price, that's absolutely fine because I need the money. <laughs> just, just being honest here. Without Bill's income, um, it's going to be hard for me to get by. So I'm really trying to work hard on this shop in hopes that it will help bring in the extra money that I need. Um, but you're also welcome to offer a really low price because that's what I'm going to be doing at first is low prices. If you um, want to see more in more detail a journal that I show today, let me know. I'll make a video of it even though I'm not done with it. And, um, and if there's something in particular that you want in a journal that I'm making, if you, if you want to buy it, then also let me know that because this is a great time for me to make it the way that you want it. I'm also open to custom orders. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you hopefully 20 journals in less than half an hour. <laughs> So this is one that I'm working on right now. And this particular one is already spoken for. It's for a wedding, but I wanted to show it to you as kind of an idea of, you know, what I'm working on. And um, basically what I've got so far is just the paper and I've done some of the fancy edges. You can see here, some of the pages have lace. Um, I've done some stenciling and other things on some of them. So this, otherwise I've not done any work at all on this, but I'm gonna be using some of this paper in it. Just beautiful, beautiful paper. Not all of it, but not all of it is appropriate. Um, and I have some fabric that I'm going to use for the cover. And I'm really excited about this project. But like I said, it's already spoken for, but it just gives you an idea. So I'm gonna work really rapidly and hopefully um, I won't be talking too fast for you. So here's another one that I've almost completed. Um, it just needs a little bit more work like I need to. I've bound it, but I've got these long threads that I need to trim and I'm gonna dangle some beads from them. And uh, this one is like mainly like oranges, but it's got a lot of other colors as well. Like I said, I'm just going through really quickly. I'm not doing a flip through. So I'm just showing you in general. It's got like some fabric, a lot of fabric in it, um, some fabric edges and all different things. I was trying a lot of different things out and so it was just a really fun journal to make and I'm really excited about it. I think it's just beautiful. Here's some Franken paper. Okay, and um, a pocket, oops, a big pocket in the back. Oh, that's right, it's a side pocket right there in the back. Okay, so that's, um, we can call this like the orange journal, I guess. Another one that I'm working on. This one, um, and it's not bound yet, so I don't have the cover. Most of these I don't have the covers for yet. And if you want it, you can choose from various cover ideas that I have. Uh, so this one is mostly like greens and browns, and it has some really fun papers in it. 
and I have to show you the center. I really like it. Um, it's, it's kind of funny. I found a, a choir of monks. Is that cute or what? I just love it. I really love it. So um, this has like some lace on the edges. It's got some fancy cut edges. I have pockets and flips and um, and all kinds of other things. I think some of these pages are upside down, but they'll be turned right side up before I um, before I bind it. So this is the green and brown journal. And like I said, it doesn't have a cover yet. Most of them don't. The orange one already has its cover. This is one that has kind of a brown theme. And, you know, obviously it has other colors in it too, but it's, it's, I think of it as my brown journal. And, um, so it's got, you know, it's got flips and pockets and stuff. It doesn't have like an inordinate amount of, of things. It's really, I'm hoping that it's one that you'll write in quite a bit. Um, but you could also glue in pictures and, um, you know, junk journal type stuff, but it's made more as a writing journal. This actually is one of my ancestors, but I had an extra copy of it and I just thought he was a cool, cute old guy to put in there. So it's kind of a funky kind of, there's some steampunk stuff, but it's not really a steampunk journal. It's just like kind of a, an interesting combination, I think. Oh, and here's my Widow Ruckle House. I don't know if hopefully that's in focus. That's my little stamp to put in each of my journals so that you know that I made it. This one has a purple slash lavender theme. I love this. I'm not sure. I think this is a wallaby, not a kangaroo, but I'm not sure. I don't really know those Australian animals, so somebody can clear me up on this. But it has, again, you know, the fancy cut pages. I've got lace all through it. Again, this one does not have a cover yet. Um, and... Um, some of these I'm going to have fabric covers. Some of them I'm going to do uh, faux, faux leather covers. And um, as I said, if you want one and I haven't put a cover on it yet, you can certainly tell me what kind of cover you would like. There's the centerfold. Um, so there's just, you know, like pockets and all kinds of fun things. And I'll be adding a few more things to this. But again, this is mostly a writing journal, so I'm not putting a lot of pockets and tags and stuff in it. It's going to be mostly for, you know, for you to write on. Okay, that's the purple journal. This one, this is one that I started back in December or January, and it's a hardcover journal. Um, the, the cover is not complete yet, but it's almost complete. I did not know how to bind yet at that time, and so I just kind of got stuck, but now I can bind it, and then I'll um, put something else over the spine. Uh, I have a lot of loose pieces here. I actually created this journal when I ran out of magenta ink and I really liked the effect of, of printing all these pages without the magenta. So it printed green, mainly green, and then it has some of these like kind of stripes in it which can be used for writing and stuff, the magenta, where the magenta actually did come through, but it just looks really cool and um, I don't know. It's kind of shabby chic, but I wouldn't really call it shabby chic. I'm not quite sure what I would call it, but it's just, it's charming, I guess. Anyway, it has an Asian theme and I have lace on a lot of the pages. Some of the pages are hand torn and pretty ragged. It's not, I, I wouldn't quite say that it's grungy, but it just, um, quaint, I guess is about the only way I can describe it. Asian quaint. Uh, it's, I think it's beautiful. I love it. Um, I have, oops, oh great, there we go. That was for me to do my feedback for school, which I've already done. Um, so there's like some pages that just have lines on them so you can turn it sideways and write. And some coffee stained pages, but mostly it's like Asian type stuff. And um, I was hoping to see this one page that has a whole letter in Chinese. Oh, here we go this right here that's a whole letter and just you know a lot of cool things in it so like I said I'm not going through these in detail right now so you can ask me to show it in more detail if you're interested um, another one that I have that is almost complete I really have very little left to do on this this is an East Tennessee journal 
you can get this because you live here in East Tennessee and you like it, or you can just get it because you think East Tennessee is cool. Um, this is mostly done in the county that I live in, Monroe County, Tennessee. Some of the pictures are pictures that I took. Many of them are from Pixabay and elsewhere, like this one is one that I took of a house in Teleco Plains. Um, the cover is a map of the area, and here's Teleco Plains right there. Um, so there's just a lot of, East, yeah, it's East Tennessee, and like I said, mostly, um, there's a lot of Teleco Plains. This is our favorite pizza place that we used to go to. This is Bald River Falls. Um, there's just, oh, just tons of really, really cool stuff. Okay, and then in the center is one of the merchants in Teleco Plains. This is my husband, Bill. He was knitting. This is, this was our shop. Here's some of his knitting here, and, um, a, I do this in most of my journals where I have a, um, kind of a, a string hanging down in the middle with beads dangling from it. But I have a bunch of buttons here, old buttons that have, each of these has a tag with the name of a place in Monroe County, like this one says Coker Creek, and then on the back they have the zip code. So that's just kind of fun. There's a lot of cheesecloth. This is a grungy, grungy journal. Okay, there's like torn pages and uh, coffee dyeing and yeah just it's just really grungy looking it's got coffee dyed cheesecloth to make it look really ragged so if you like that kind of look like I do this is a mountain laurel that's a picture that I took um, if you like that look like I do here's a paper clip um, then then this journal is for you it's it's an awesome journal it's full of all kinds of really really cool stuff so again let me know if you want to see more details on that Okay, whew. Um, okay, so there's his, here's another one that I'm working on. This one does have a cover. This is the cover, and it's bound already. I love this because I did all these beads on it, and then I wanted to have it look like these were just dangling. In fact, at first, I did have the ribbon loose and dangling, but the beads kept getting tangled up. The ribbons kept getting tangled up with each other, so I ended up gluing it down. Um, I'm not quite finished with it. There are some things that I need to add. I don't really like having white space like this. Um, so it's got tabs all the way through it like this and um, just really pretty I think lots of there will be some tags and other things in this um, I haven't filled the pockets yet or anything so there's gonna be a lot more in it than that and okay this one is um, I used Please tell me I'm going. Yes, I am. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought, oh my gosh, it looks like my like my video wasn't going. This may be in vertical. Oh shoot, it may be vertical, and if so, I am really sorry because I hate it when it does that. But I'm just gonna keep going. Um, this is using Tina Faye Phillips, I believe that's her name, um, and I'll correct it below if it's not. Uh, her Blue Lagoon. Uh, digital prints and not everything in here is from that kit so if you're interested in that kit you need to check it out and see what's actually included because not everything that I have here I do have some pages from Pixabay and possibly from Pixel Scrapper I'm not sure but like this is one of her pages although it's turned upside down do I have this whole thing turned upside down probably yeah okay so I have some coffee dyed pages here like with lace on them and um, just all kinds of stuff. It's basically it's blue and green and some brown. Yeah, there's a lot of pages that are turned upside down, which I'll fix before I bind it. Don't worry, I'm not going to bind it with upside down pages. That just happens as you're working on a on a journal quite often. So there's all kinds of really cool stuff in here. That one's blue and green, and that's you can call that the Blue Lagoon Journal if you're interested. This is another one that I've. I've got the cover on it, but I haven't bound it yet, you know, and obviously this will be fixed and everything. Um, well, that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> this is another Tennessee journal. Um, I believe this is all East Tennessee. Cute little old man here. That, that's my husband, but isn't he a cute little old man? I love him and I miss him so much. Um, anyway, I'm not going to start crying. So, um, yeah, so I have like lots of pockets and stuff. I haven't filled the pockets yet with cards, but I will be. 
these are actually the steps to our house up in the mountains. Uh, this is from the Lost Sea. There are some coffee dyed pages, lace, dangles, you know, just all kinds of really fun things. But this is an East Tennessee one. Um, it's not specifically Monroe County. It's like all over East Tennessee. Okay, and we can call that the Sunflower East Tennessee Journal. That may, these may not be the names that I give them later when I list them, but for now. Okay, so this is really different. This one is not a journal. This is an explosion box that I'm still working on. And this, I'm not gonna try to put it all together. Um, if you're interested in seeing how it works, I can show you, just let me know. But what it does is it forms a box, and then um, when you take the lid off the box, it all falls open into all these layers, and they have, um, let's see, I don't have all the stuff in them yet, but they have like pockets and uh, little, some have like belly bands. This one has a gate pocket, so you can open up and you can, you know, put pictures or journaling and stuff in here. It's just like another form of journal, of journal, and I'm actually not sure if I'm going to sell this one or if I'm going to use it myself. If somebody wants it, then I will sell it and I will make another for myself. Okay. So that is the blue butterfly explosion box. And then, oh, okay, this is like one that I love. So this is, I hand painted this cover and it feels really, really cool. And then I ripped it along here. This is a really grungy journal. I love making grungy journals. I make a lot of clean ones too, but I love especially grungy ones. I haven't finished the inside yet, um, but I love, I just love this outside. And I'm not quite sure yet what kind of closure I'm gonna have on it, but it will have something to close it. Um, this is a cat themed journal. And if you like this cover, but you don't like cats, let me know and I'm happy to make you one with a different type of theme. But this has cats, um, almost all of the pages, including the photographed pages, have been coffee dyed. And so there's a lot of work that went into this. The pages are hand torn. There's lace on some. Um, it's a really cool, grungy journal with just a lot of beautiful cats all the way throughout it. Um, there's also some quotes about cats, two or three of those in there, and um, just a lot of really fun, fun stuff. Okay, so that's a grungy cat journal with the torn blue cover. Okay, I think we're like halfway through and I'm doing really well. Here's another Tennessee journal. Um, again, I think this is mostly East Tennessee. Uh, the cover is made, but not sewn on yet. I have a postcard here for a pocket. Uh, I, I think I still have a lot of work to do on this because it feels really thin. So yeah, I do. I'm still gonna be putting a lot of stuff into it, but you can kind of get an idea of what it's like. Um, some of the photographs are mine. A lot of them are from elsewhere. There's a fabric flip. Um, some lace, a lot of pages that I've torn by hand. Uh, just a lot of really cool stuff, really inspiring. Um, it'll inspire you when you're writing or when you're putting things in. This is Bald River Falls. This is near us, and this is one of Bill's favorite places, and I'm planning to have his memorial service there. Um, okay, so this is also one that I still have a long ways to go on. Uh, that doily won't be sticking up. It'll be down in the book. There's a lot of coffee dyeing in here. This is another grungy one, and I've got the, yeah, see some things are upside down. It's not ready yet. I've got the cover started, but not complete, and it's obviously not bound. Um, let's see here, maybe it goes this way. And it's a music-themed journal. There are score paper, which is really great for writing on. Um, there are coffee-stained pages, a lot of pictures. Okay, and then some of these are upside down. So obviously I need to fix how these go and I will fix them before I bind it. Um, let's see, there's a flip out here, music pages. There's just all kinds of music themed stuff. Okay, and the cover I guess goes, yeah, 
well, no, the cover goes like this. This is the front <laughs> and that's the back, okay? But the cover's not finished. I haven't bound it and it's not finished yet. There are a lot of pockets and other things to add to that. Okay, and then these next ones are even less finished. All I've done is I've chosen the paper. I haven't done anything at all in them, but I'll just give you an idea of colors and the types of paper. These white pages, you know, I'll be doing something with those. I don't like to leave pages, just white. Um, but this is an idea of the colors and um, yeah, so I like that. Well, oh, one of the things that will go in this, this came in Happy Mail from one of my friends, Misty, and this is a little fairy, a die-cut fairy that I thought would be really cool to have in that journal. Isn't that cute? Um, I have a couple of other journals that are the same. You know, I've only got the paper assembled. I haven't even started working on them. So this is another one that's like pinks and reds and a little bit of green and blue, but mostly pinks and reds. Okay. And another one that's blues and greens and I think some chartreuse that I've just gotten the paper for, but I haven't really started working on the journal. Okay. And let's see, I think that's it actually. Um, I have another one that I'm working on for a friend. This one's not for sale. But if you like it, I'm happy to do one similar to it for you. It's got a lot of um, like 70s type stuff. It's got some steampunk like right here. This is kind of steampunk. Not really super steampunky, but it's just got some of that. It's, it's more of kind of like a hippie-ish kind of thing. And fabric and yarn and all kinds of other stuff. Anyway, it's just really um, special for my friend. And I'm, I would love to do another one like this because I really 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 am pleased with how it's turning out so I think that is it yes that's it Whew. less than half an hour <laughs> anyway if you're interested in any of those let me know if you want me to show you more of any of them let me know um, if you are interested and you want to buy one give me an offer and um, if it's anywhere close to reasonable I will take it because I just want to get these things moving um, so that my store can can have an opportunity to be successful. So let me know and I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.